in a bold move towards a healthier future, youth in Kano State under the ages of protecting and activating communities against tobacco pact have called on higher institutions to enact smoke-free spaces in campuses. The call was made in an event tagged Paint the Change, which featured a variety of educational activities, including the use of art to raise awareness of the harmful effects of secondhand smoke and the link between tobacco use and cancer. And this in a bid, this is in a bid, I beg your pardon, to stress the importance of creating a smoke-free environment. According to the World Health Organization, more than 16,100 Nigerians are killed by tobacco-caused disease yearly and more than 25,000 children aged 10 to 14 years old and 7.4 million adults from 15 years old and above continue to use tobacco each day. I am calling on higher institutions, especially um, Bayer University, Kano and Yusuf Metema Sule University, though we hold advocacy with them to enact um, laws on um, smoke-free spaces. And then, yes, we have gained commitment towards securing that due to the alarming statistics, whereby 27 million Nigerians, wow. especially youth, are being affected by secondhand smoke. There are a lot of youths in university, and most of these smokers we are seeing are youths. So when you control the smoke intake among youths, um, I think you've made a very big change in the environment. That's why we focus on institutions and universities. We are even targeting secondary school students so that we catch them young. There are, there are actually three types of smoking. So uh, there's first-hand smoking in which the person is the smoker. And then there's second-hand smoking, which uh, the person is sitting around people that smoke. Both are equally dangerous. Maybe second-hand smoking in some cases is even more dangerous. And then there's one that has been recently discussed, is which is the third-hand smoking, which is the type of smoking that um, when people smoke in a particular area, it is research has shown that the residue from the tobacco smoking, the chemicals will still persist in that environment, and it, they can still cause harm. I call on all the school and uh, all the school management actually to take heed of these places and enact laws and make sure that they stand by the law so that they so that people actually follow the laws instead of harming everybody. And meanwhile, Governor Agbo Kefas plans to invest more in tourism development to boost the state's internal generated revenue, IGR. He believes tourism can fund the administration's free education policy and other projects across the 16 local government areas. The governor aims to change the negative narrative of exploiting mineral resources and labeling the state as poor. Professor Leslie Rogers promises to use his connections to attract investors and reveal the state's excess wealth in tourism and agriculture, which, if harnessed, will significantly improve the IGR. I feel that it's necessary that we interact and collaborate to see how we can develop the potentials that God has endowed in the state for us. We are creating a new tower to move tower forward. Coming to Tarama State, yes, all I can see at the beginning when I came seven years ago was money and economic development by and large. I want to highly commend uh, His Excellency Dr. Abu Kefas for dampling into trying to diversify the, the sources of revenue of the state. Uh, tourism is uh, one aspect we are very blessed with here in Taraba State and I count it as a welcome development, trying to divert our source of, of revenue uh, swinging into the tourism. I'm sure and optimistic that uh, bringing in tourism, Taraba is going to reinstate and regenerate more revenue that will lead towards meaningful development. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.